This week, the Department of Justice, at the behest of Joe Biden, decided that parents who stand up for their kids at school board meetings should be investigated as domestic terrorists. Their message is loud and clear to moms and dads across America. If you disagree with the radical left, you're going to be targeted and silenced. But many parents are fighting back. Joining me now is Asra Nomani with Parents Defending Education. Thanks for t taking the time to join me tonight. I can see that sign that's behind you. What are you uh, taking that to? Well, here I, sit, here I sit. I'm right outside Luther Jackson Middle School. Fairfax County Public School Board is going to have their meeting tonight. And right now, there's 100 parents outside with signs like this. And they are standing defiant of this threat by the Justice Department and the FBI to shut them down. Parents are going to stand up defending children and defending education. Do you think that you're going to be getting some attention from the FBI, perhaps after taking such a stand? You know what? Parents are saying things like, bring it on, arrest me, because mm -hmm. There is nobody who can stand between a mama bear and papa bear and their cub. I mean, it's unconscionable what the Justice Department is doing. And what they are really doing is pr protecting political and business interests that lead right to the Justice Department in the education industry that is exploiting our children. And so we have to return back to the ABCs, as one mom just told me, and stop with all of this indoctrination. Asra, I know that this is something that you woke up to perhaps earlier than many in this country in terms of the developments that played out over the past year plus. Tell me a little bit about your reaction, though, to this, what I think a lot of people think, feel like they never could have seen happen in this country, parents being oh, yeah. tagged as domestic terrorists, potentially, for wanting to seek out the best for their children's education. Yeah, it's, this is just unbelievable to me. My father came to America in the 1960s as an immigrant from India, bringing me. We lived in poverty our first years. I was an English, a second language student. I learned English with Nancy Drew. And thus, I come into this country and I believe that education is our stepping stone, right? My son went to one of the best high schools here in Fairfax County, Virginia. but. They told our mostly immigrant, mostly minority parents that we had to start checking our privileges just because our kids were at this school. And that's when I woke up and realized they were putting a target on the backs of parents. And now we have that confirmed with this ridiculous Justice Department declaration of war on us. Mm -hmm. People have to be very clear that stand clear for your values and be unapologetic as a parent. I remember back, you know, 20 years ago, there were a lot of concerns being raised in the wake of the Patriot Act about it being misused against uh, domestic people, particularly against Muslims in America. Right. This seems like the kind of thing that should arouse the offense of every American, regardless of whether you're on the right or the left today. Every single American should be outraged right now at this overreach by the Justice Department. I am Muslim. I have chased terrorists around the world. I have gone to Guanta Guantanamo Bay to stare Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in the eyes. And I can tell you that these parents, they have names like Harry and Stacy and Suparna. They're good, good people, just like parents all over this country. And the Justice Department has waged a war on the wrong people. We are the protectors of children, and they must stand with us, not against us. This is so, so disheartening, but we will not be disheartened because we have clarity in our eyes, and those are the faces of our children. Asra, thanks so much for joining me, and good luck at your school board meeting. Oh, oh my gosh, thank you. I hope everyone gets their popcorn and watches the live stream. <laughs> thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.